Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Aura Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So Aries, this is going to be your weekly message here for April the 1st through the 8th. But you guys, I will pull the overall energy for Aries for um for April. Did I say March? It's for April. Sorry, y'all. What the hell? <laughs> but um, I'm going to pull the overall energy using my Neo Tarot deck for you guys. Keep in mind, too, that the energy could change. It could shift at any time. But this is what's coming out um, right now. So let's see here. If you're interested in booking a personal reading from me, all you have to do is check the description box below. Or you can check the comment section. I'm going to pin my link tree link in the comment section. So let's see here. Let's get the overall energy here for you, Aries, for April 2021. What's the overall energy here for Aries? For April 2021. What's this? Okay, we got the two of pentacles here. Okay. So for some of you guys, there could definitely be some conflict here in regards to um maybe there's like internal conflict here in regards to juggling more than one thing here. It's like maybe you got your hands tied, Aries. Yeah, it could definitely be. Oh, I do not want to talk about this right now, but what i'm getting so far it could definitely be in regards to like a partnership there could be some conflict here in regards to a partnership it could be like some other energies um involved here and it don't it for some people it don't have to be a person it could be like their work so let's see here what messages you have for aries for april the first through the eighth What messages do you have for Aries for April the 1st through the 8th? Uh, yeah, there's some problems here in regards to... Um, so we got the moon card here. I don't know which one came out first. I seen the moon card first, so we just going to take it like that. But the moon card is here, so there could definitely be some problems here, some deception here in regards to um, a connection. So it could be like a rekindling here as well. That's what it looks like. What message do you have for Aries for April the 1st through the 8th? Yeah, so we got the star card here. So I do feel like you're needing to make a decision here, Aries, or someone that you that's in your energy could definitely be needing to make a decision. There could be conflict here um, in regards to like making a decision here, but we do have the star card that came out here. So for some of you guys, it's like maybe... Um, this could definitely be like something that someone wished for here too, but also too, it's like it could be healing here to a to a connection here. Also, too, for some of you guys, you are definitely need to use your intuition here too, with the moon card coming in in regards to um this ace of wands. So it could be a new beginning for someone here, some type of news um coming in towards someone. It could definitely be something that you wish for. It's like maybe you're needing to think about it. So you could definitely have two offers too. Yeah, most definitely. For some guys, you could have actually have two love offers. So let's see here. What messages do you have for Aries? For April the 1st through the 8th. Uh-oh, yeah, so mm, there could definitely be, so we have the hair font, hair font card that came out. It's kind of funny because um. I seen it at the bottom of the deck when um, I believe the moon card came out in the Ace of Wands. So this could definitely be, um, it could definitely be about commitment here, marriage here for someone with the hair font, hair font card coming out here. But I do feel like too, if you're single, you could definitely be, it's like one of these people, um, there could be like some dishonesty here um, with the Seven of Swords. It could definitely be, I feel like that could be um, what the problem is here too. Maybe that's why you're needing to use your intuition here. What message is you have for Aries for April the 1st through the 8th? Yeah, someone needs time to think here to get clarity here about a certain situation. But somebody is about to get cut off here though. If this is about like a relationship or a partnership, it's like some other energies are involved. Like too much chaos and conflict going on. So for some of you guys, you could definitely need be needing to make a tough decision here. Again, with this two of swords, um, 
listen to your intuition here because it's coming in underneath the moon card here y'all it's like if you do that you're going to get clarity here about it with the ace of swords yep your intuition will give you clarity here wow we got the two of pentacles here too So I feel like if you are juggling more than one person or more than one thing here, y'all, your intuition is literally giving you the clarity. So it's like you're needing to make the decision here. What messages do you have for Aries? For April the 1st to the 8th. Yeah, so wow. Um, the Knight of Wands just tried to pop out here. This could definitely be someone that you're taking a break from here as well. With the four of swords you guys could have been dealing with a person here um it could have been like an in and out type of energy here as well you could have been married to this person um i see aquarius and taurus here and pisces um but i feel like someone's thinking here you you guys are need to meditate too about this situation what messages do you have for aries for april the first through the eighth Yeah, so the Emperor card came out here. So this is your energy, um, Aries, with the Emperor. Some of you guys are needing to set up some boundaries here, too. But also, too, it's like um, you could be needing to take charge here in this situation as well. So we do have the Page of Wands here that came out. So for some of you guys, you could definitely be getting... Um, you could get, be getting like a message here or communication here as well with the Page of Wands. Give me one more here for Aries. Give me one more here for Aries. Yeah, we got the world card that came out. So I do see where there could definitely be a new cycle here with the world card coming in for someone here in regards to a connection. With the two of cups coming in here at the bottom of the deck here. So this new cycle that you could be going into could lead to commitment here for someone. Um, I feel like, too, you guys are needing to have faith here in this situation. But most importantly here, like, listen to your intuition here about this. Clarify the moon. Yeah, so we have the Nine of Cups here that came out. So there could be fear here. This is what I'm seeing, too. So some of you guys could definitely be going back and forth here on whether or not you want to start something new here. So we got a nine of cups here. There could be fear um, in regards to like getting what you want here as well. So we do have the nine of wands. Someone could be dealing with the, um, a water sign here. Can't stop Pisces or Scorpio. But we got the nine of wands that came out. So I do feel like this is your energy, Aries, at the bottom here. It's like this, whatever this is, could be like a challenge. For someone to move forward. Clarify this ace of wands here. Clarify this ace of wands. Uh oh, that was one too many cards. Clarify this ace of wands. Yeah, five of cups here. Some of you guys could definitely be like still um dwelling here on some deception that happened. Like you could have been dealing with some people here um that were in the seven of swords type of energy here. Clarify the star. Yeah, so we have the magician card that came out here. So I feel like Aries, some of you guys are definitely need to like get into your power here with the magician card coming in here. The star card, we got the emperor. Um, we got the queen of wands here too. So I feel like too, if this is like a new beginning for someone here, get confident about it. Um let's see here what's the hair font here clarify the hair font uh -oh. yeah eight of cups here so yeah for some of you guys you could definitely be um for some people it's like you could be walking away from a certain situation here but it's like most importantly it's like you're walking into something new here so you're you could be walking away from what no longer serves you here you could be needing to take action here towards that um here as well what's the two of swords here what is this here for aries 
What is this Two of Swords here for Aries? Yeah, so we have the death card that came out here. So some of you guys could definitely be needing to make a decision here, a tough decision here in regards to like change, transformation here or something ending here as well. But I do feel like you guys have like this past energy here that could be coming in. Like, um, it could be like a person here who's like in and out. Yeah, because this seven of swords keeps showing up for y'all. And we got the eight of swords here too. So like, don't let um, your own thoughts keep you like stuck. And also too, for some of y'all, it's like you need to take off the blindfold too. It's like someone's like covering their eyes. Clarify this four of swords. Clarify this four of swords here. Yeah, page of wands here. So some of you guys could have definitely gotten an offer here. You got, or maybe this already happened. I don't know. But the page of wands came out with this knight of pentacles. Someone got some type of message here. And it's like maybe um, you're needing time to think here about this situation here. Clarify the emperor. Clarify the emperor. Yeah, so we got the strength card here. Some of you guys definitely need a strength here to move forward. Definitely. It's like you're needing to take charge here. Also, too, it's like confidence. We got the Ten of Swords here. So it's like don't let them Indians keep you stuck. What's the world here for Aries? What's the world here for Aries? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune here. So you guys have something new coming in here. Look, the Wheel of Fortune here. Some type of shift here, change, a new cycle here coming in for someone here. And we got the Ace of Pentacles here. I do see like if you are juggling, um, someone could be juggling like a past person and a new person. That's what it seemed like. But you guys are needing to um, listen to your intuition here about some type of change happening for you guys so let's i'm gonna use my kipper deck real quick clarify this two of pentacles so it could be a main male here like a male energy that could be going back and forth here what is two of pentacles clarify this two of pentacles clarify this two of pentacles here yeah, privileged lady here. Some of you guys could definitely be juggling like your love life here and um your work. So we got privileged lady that came out here. Give me one more here for this two of pentacles. Give me one more here for this two of pentacles. Yeah, message. Message of concern here too. So we got a message and a message of concern here. So someone could be concerned here about a certain situation here. I need to, hold on, clarify this two of pentacles. What is this two of pentacles here for Aries? What is this two of pentacles here for Aries? What is this two of pentacles here for Aries? Yeah, four of pentacles. Someone's holding on to something here. With this four of pentacles, it's like you're needing to drop, possibly drop one thing here. It could be <clears throat> an earth sign for someone here, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo here. Hold on for one second. Yeah, someone's needing to open up here too. So some of you guys could definitely be going back and forth here on whether or not you want to um, start something new here. But I feel like too, someone's needing to like open up. Because look, we got the four of cups here. So like, I pay attention to like the body gestures and the, um, or like the body language. 
in the cards and this is someone who's like not open and receptive here it's like they're just stuck here so this could definitely be your energy areas you could just be over it um with this four of cups and we got the lover's card here too so it's like are you going to take the cup here so let's see pull one more card for y'all Give me one here for Aries, please. Give me one here for Aries. Yes, we got determination here. And we also have rest here too. So it is determination here. It's like maybe you're needing to get um, determined here about something here or someone's determined about you. I'm going to read like a little bit of the meaning for y'all so determination can give you the energy to reach your goals this card lets you know that the summit of the yeah the summit of the mountain is within your reach really take a moment to tap into this feeling and this extra energy also if you're feeling tired don't be afraid to ask people for help or look at the obstacle in a new way to renew your spirit so i do feel like new like this shift here or change something new could be like an obstacle for someone here because it's like some conflict conflict going on with someone so it could be like internal conflict here too give me one more here for aries give me one more here for aries yes success and then we got trust so i feel like you guys are needing to trust here have faith that um Whatever this is on the horizon here, it's like a sun right here too. So it's like something new, successful here. It's like the wheel is shifting in your favor. You guys have a new cycle coming in, but it's like someone's juggling or um, maybe you're trying to balance some things out here. But success came out here. I need to read that meaning too because I don't know the meaning of that yet. So which one is? Oh, it's an orange one. Hold on for one second. So success, this card signals that it's time to tap into the warm feeling of accomplishment after working incredibly hard and pushing towards your goal. Appreciate your accompl accomplishment and the growth you have experienced along the way here. So yeah, I feel like um, for some of you guys journey into um, push towards like kind of like get into action here in regards to moving forward here. But I feel like for some of y'all, you could be needing time to think here about it. But you need to be like open to this here because it could be definitely something that you want. So I'm going to leave the, um, the reading right here. Hopefully it resonated with someone. Of course, you guys can leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if it resonated with you. And you can subscribe if you are new.